from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. It's Wednesday, June 22nd. I'm James Tully. Shea Ryan has a look at how hot the temperatures are going to get today. But first, here are your ABC Action News headlines. Clearwater police investigating a second shooting in just 24 hours. They say a man was shot around 4 this morning on Turner Street. He was hospitalized but is expected to survive. Police are looking for the shooter. Anybody with information should call Clearwater Police. This comes after a woman shot and killed a man who broke into her home yesterday morning that we could learn today if a, if a jury will hear the lawsuit filed by the family of Gabby Petito against the parents of Brian Laundrie. At 1.30 this afternoon, a Sarasota County judge set to hold the first hearing in the case. According to court documents, the Petitos allege the Laundries knew that their son killed Gabby and willfully remained silent, which caused them to suffer emotional distress. The Laundries attorney filed a motion to have the lawsuit dismissed. Gabby Petito reported missing last summer while on a road trip with Brian Laundrie, who remains were found outside a national park in Wyoming. Laundrie's body was then discovered after a 30 day search, leaving a note claiming responsibility for Petito's death. Overnight, the national average for gas dropped a bit to 496 a gallon. AAA credits this decrease we've been seeing recently on a dip in oil prices and lessened demand. Florida's average fell to 477. Prices in St. Pete and Tampa now around 476 a gallon on average. The Hillsborough County School Board voted unanimously to renew Superintendent Addison Davis's contract until 2027. The board cited Davis's educational and financial successes, along with an overwhelming need for stability as reasons for the contract extension. Davis has been superintendent of Hillsborough County Public Schools since March of 2020. Today, the Tampa Bay Lightning are attempting to tie up the Stanley Cup final at two games apiece. The team bounced back Monday night with a big 6-2 win against Colorado. As far as injuries are concerned for the Lightning, Braden Point doubtful for tonight. Nikita Kucherov took a nasty hit Monday night, left the game, but Coach Cooper says don't count him out. Just like in the Eastern Conference final against the Rangers, the Lightning will have to dig out of a 2-0 hole to win this thing after losing the first two games on the road, but home ice has been so good for the Bolts. They've won eight straight at Amelie Arena during the playoffs. Puck drop tonight at 8. Now here's Shea Ryan with a look at your forecast. Yeah, and if you're headed uh, outside for a watch party or to and from the game, don't have to worry about uh, all that much of a chance for rainfall. We do have a slight chance. We can see a few isolated uh, batches of rain off and on throughout the day, but unlikely you're going to encounter any heavy rain or thunderstorms. And we've got a lot of cloud cover, but enough sunshine coming through to make it to highs in the low to mid 90s. James. All right, thank you, Shay. Get all your news 24 seven right here on ABC Action News Plus and watch our Quest for the Cup special tonight at seven o'clock right before the game.